Listen carefully, everybody. Listen carefully, everybody. Online, everywhere you are watching me around the world. Nobody will go to hell because of his individual sin. Nobody is going to hell because he fornicated. Listen carefully. Nobody is going to hell because he committed murder. Nobody is going to hell because he did 419. Stole people's money. Of course, stealing is a sin. Fornication is a sin. Murder is a sin. But nobody goes to hell for those acts. If you commit murder, you will be arrested and you will go to prison. If you steal, you will be caught and you will go to prison. Alright? They are all sins. But nobody goes to hell because of those sins. Nobody goes to hell because of those sins. Condemnation is because they believe not the gospel. Condemnation is because they believe not the gospel. When you do not believe the gospel, you are condemned. That is integral to the gospel of Christ. The forgiveness of sin is the charter of the gospel. That's the charter of the gospel. That is the trust of the gospel. That Jesus Christ paid for sins. That Jesus Christ paid for sins. That is the trust of the gospel. Matthew chapter 12 verse 31. Before we read Jesus was talking with the Pharisees. And he said to the Pharisees, when he was casting out demons, he said he cast out demons by Beelzebub. So he said to them, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. If I am of the devil, I cannot cast out myself. Then he says to them, no man goes to a strong man and ponders his house without first of all binding the strong man. It is only when you bind the strong man that you can plunder his goods. All right? So Jesus was talking in that, in that respect. And then in that Matthew 12, 31, put it up and let's read carefully. Wherefore, please pay attention. I say unto you, on the line, all manner of sin. All manner of sin. Clearly. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. All. All manner of sin and blasphemy. The word blasphemy there means to resist or to stand against the gospel. All manner of sin and blasphemy, no sin excluded, shall be forgiven. No sin excluded. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. Is it clear? All manner of sin and standing against the gospel shall be forgiven unto men. Then, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. The blasphemy against is tautology. Because there's nothing like blasphemy against. It's like reputation. Blasphemy is against. So it's like against against. Okay. So blasphemy. The Holy Ghost. Shall not be forgiven unto men. Now. In verse 32. 32. And whosoever speaketh a word. Against the son of man. It shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Then he tells you exactly what he is saying here in verse 36 and 37 of the same chapter. Context. 36. Matthew 12, 36. 
But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So Jesus was not talking about a present thing right there. He was talking about what will happen when he rises from the dead. The Holy Spirit who was present when Jesus died and rose. The Holy Spirit who was present when Jesus died and rose. The Holy Spirit is giving witness to that sacrifice for sins. The Holy Spirit who was present when Jesus died and rose, is giving witness to that sacrifice for sins. Anyone who doubts that testimony or resists that testimony, it will not be forgiven him. Anyone who doubts the testimony of the Holy Spirit or resists the testimony of the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven either in this world or in the world to come. So the issue is not the sin of blasphemy. But the issue is blasphemy against the work of Christ. The issue is blasphemy against the work of Christ. It's like someone pays for your sin and you say, I don't want it. You know what I mean? You say, I paid for your sin. You say, I don't want it. Take your payment and go. What it does is you render Christ helpless. Christ is not wicked. You made him helpless. Because it's an offer. You don't force people to receive your offer. People have to receive it so they can benefit. And if they reject your offer, they reject the benefit of the offer. The offer comes with its benefit. So, if we tell you that Christ paid for your sin, you say, I don't need it. I can pay for myself. It is not God being wicked for you to go to hell. It is you rendering God helpless. And God can do nothing about it. So, therefore, by your choice, you take yourself to hell. Is it clear? Yeah. 